Here are the five things that we were looking for when choosing a WordPress hosting company for our agency. Now there's a ton of different great options out there. So I'm gonna give you the five things that we were looking for. I'll tell you who we picked and then that'll set us up to talk about pricing. Like how much are you gonna charge for all of this stuff? So the five things that we were looking for, the first and really the most important was we wanna have this professional workflow. Like we're not just flinging websites out onto the internet. We have development, deployment, and then management after the site goes live. So we wanna make sure that we're not just editing lives, like doing critical updates on live sites and then breaking things or we're like upgrading WordPress core on a live site only to find that there's a major problem that we crashed the site with or something like that, right? So it's like, you wanna have a professional workflow. However you work that out, that was one of the most critical aspects for us, which then leads into the next one, which was, I'm looking for three different environments. I want a live site, I want a staging site, and I want to be able to work locally as well, especially for like plugin development, you know, to be able to pull code and, you know, like pull the site down from the server onto my laptop, do some work and then push it back as seamlessly as possible. So I was looking for those three environments. It would be great if there was stuff built in for maintenance as well, like plugin updates, core updates, nightly backups, you know, like that, that whole kind of maintenance process for the site, some kind of system baked in for that. Um, user and account management was another thing to look for. Like I want to be able to log in one time and have access to all the sites that I want to work with without having to try to manage a bazillion usernames and passwords for everything. Likewise, if we bring in a subcontractor or hire somebody else or whatever to work with us, we want to be able to have user level access to the sites that they, they're going to be responsible for too, rather than trying to have like one login for the entire company or thousands of logins for everybody or whatever. So a nice user and account management workflow and then support. And I'm looking for live chat, phone and tickets. I don't personally rely on the phone that much, but when you need it, it's really helpful on those off chances that there's something really complicated you need to talk to somebody about. So that's what I'm looking for. So professional workflow, the three different environments for development, maintenance, like plugin updates and stuff, uh, user and account management and support. So with those five things in mind, the partner that we picked was Flywheel. And Flywheel really you know, matches up really great for all five of those things. They've, like for example, they have live sites with one click, you can spin off a staging site. Then you can make all your edits and updates and stuff on the staging site. Then with another click, you push that back live. If you need to pull anything down locally, they have Local by Flywheel, which is a whole WordPress development environment that runs right on your laptop, runs on Windows, Linux, and Mac. So whatever you're using, it works great. And literally with like one click, you can download a site, make some changes. With another click, it pushes it all back up. So that's a great workflow there. They've got the user account management features that we're looking for where like one user can then be assigned access to individual sites. So each user has one login to the sites that, they'll, that they're responsible for. And they, of course, they, they've got all three levels of support. They got phone, they've got live chat, they've got tickets. So we picked Flywheel. It's been working great for us for the past three years or so. There's one kind of wonky thing about how Flywheel works and that's the file structure. It's a little bit non-standard because they have some baked in like security plugins and stuff that they kind of use for every deployment. And so the file structure is a little bit different than what it would be if you just def install WordPress default, like on your laptop or something. But especially because of local by flywheel, that local development environment where you can push and pull sites, we haven't encountered any issues at all with that. I just wanted to mention it because it's something to be mindful of. So then what about pricing? Because flywheel is gonna cost a little bit more than if you were to just use Bluehost or SiteGround or something like that. So I wanna talk a lot more about how to price and pitch WordPress hosting and maintenance. So go ahead and click this next video so we can dive into how do you package all this stuff up? What should it cost? And how do you pitch that to your clients?